Hi mates today let's look into the idea of substantial derivative starting with a fun little story one scorching sunday afternoon john was desperate to escape the heat and he decided to pay a visit to his super rich friend to chill in his air conditioned house john reaches his friend's house and opens the door as soon as he stepped inside he could enjoy the cool air and he got immediate relief from the heat Suddenly out of nowhere a water balloon filled with ice cold water flew straight at him bursting on his face and soaking him completely it was a prank by his mischievous friend now let us rewind and examine the story in more detail john moves from the warm surroundings to the cool air conditioned room his initial sensation is the immediate relief from the heat as he could feel the refreshing blast of cool air inside which is then quickly intensified when he is hit by a balloon filled with ice water so what has the story got to do with math if you ask well john just experienced substantial derivative substantial derivative is all about changes of a physical quantity of a material here this quantity is the temperature change felt by john imagine the same scenario with an air parcel instead of john the temperature of the air parcel changes both as it moves from a warm to a cold environment and also due to the additional cooling from the ice water balloon we can see the combined effects of spatial and temporal influences on the temperature of the air parcel spatial means moving from warm to cold and temporal is the instant cooling from the water balloon the substantial derivative allows us to describe how the temperature evolves due to both changes in location and specific events giving us the full story of the air parcel's temperature transformation on its journey by traveling along with the parcel the left hand side of the equation is the notation of the substantial derivative for temperature of moving parcel now let's look into its mathematical derivation so our air parcel which is invisibly small starts in a warm outdoor environment its initial position is x1 y1 z1 at time t1 where its temperature is t1 as this parcel moves into a cooler air conditioned room it arrives at a new position x2 y2 z2 at a later time t2 where its temperature changes to t2 we can express the final temperature t2 of this air parcel based on its initial temperature t1 using the taylor series Taylor series is a powerful mathematical tool that helps us predict how things change over time or space. The higher order terms of the Taylor series can be neglected if the change is linear. This implies that only the first order derivative is significant in the equation if we are considering a linear change. In our parcels case, we consider instantaneous time and corresponding change in space which makes the changes more linear. so we can also neglect the higher order terms in the taylor series but before we get into the math of taylor series of a linear change let's start with something more relatable for example your age imagine you are 30 years old today if i ask how old you will be in 10 years you would instantly say 40 but how do you know that it is simple you understand that your age increases by 1 year every year the rate of change of your age is 1 so when i ask about your age 10 years from now you just multiply the period that is 10 with the rate of change of age that is 1 10 multiplied by 1 is 10 which is then added to your current age 30 which gives you 40 this is essentially what a taylor expansion does it takes what you know now that is your current age here and adds the rate of change to predict your future age similarly using the taylor series the final temperature of the air parcel t2 can be expressed as the sum of its initial temperature t1 and the rate of change of temperature over space and time the equation becomes since our interest is the rate of change of temperature of the air parcel as it moves from initial to final position that will be since we are considering an infinitesimally small time interval where t2 approaches t1 
The left hand side of the equation simplifies to the total derivative of the temperature. This total derivative denoted as dt by dt represents the instantaneous rate of change of temperature of a parcel as it moves through the flow field. The operator d by dt is known as substantial derivative. Other names for substantial derivative include material derivative, particle derivative often referred to as the Lagrangian derivative. Here the right hand side of the equation includes local terms that is the partial derivative of temperature with respect to time and advection terms, the terms related to the movement of parcel through space. When we apply the limit to the time on the right hand side of the equation, we get the rate of change in space due to advection as nothing but the velocity components u, v and w in the x, y and z directions respectively. In our scenario, the substantial derivative accounts for both factors affecting the temperature change. It captures firstly the cooling effect from entering the air conditioned room which is related to the parcel's movement through space known as the advection term. Secondly, the additional cooling from the ice water balloon which represents the immediate temperature change occurring at the specific location known as local term. Then the final form of the equation will be like this. The operator for the substantial derivative equating for advection and local term are represented as. In some context, the right hand side of the equation can be represented using NABLA or del operator. The NABLA operator is defined as and the field velocity is. Then the equation for the temperature can be written as. Thus, the substantial derivative of temperature can be written as. This equation is applicable to all other parameters in fluid dynamics. For instance, for density rho, it will be. This derivation illustrates how Taylor's expansion and the substantial derivative are employed to analyze changes of an air parcel as it moves from one position to another. As we conclude our discussion on the substantial derivative, let us consider a real world tool that helps us measure it, drifters. Drifters are floating devices used in oceanography. They move with the currents, tracking the flow of water as they go. By monitoring how properties like temperature or salinity change along their path, drifters provide us with a practical way to observe the Lagrangian point of view for a flow field. Think about how these small devices help us understand the dynamics of the ocean, capturing changes not just in time but as they move through space. It is a powerful example of the Lagrangian perspective in action. In fluid kinematics, there are two types of description of fluid flow, Lagrangian and Eulerian. Here, the substantial derivative will act as a bridge between these two descriptions that we will discuss in the coming sections. Thanks for watching. I hope today's class on substantial derivative helped clarify how we observe and analyze the properties of a fluid parcel as it moves. If you found this video useful, please share it with others. For any questions or suggestions, feel free to email us or drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on this topic. See you in the next video.